guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing a video talking about some of my reading goals for the year of 2017. I'm not too particular on these goals, I'm not going to be like super set in stone about all of them, but I just thought I would have some of these set for the new year, so I'm super excited to talk to you guys about these, so let's jump right into the video. As for last year, I did succeed my Goodreads goal, um, I did read over 12 classics, which I set last year as well. Um, I participated in nine readathons. I wanted to do 12, but I'm pretty happy with nine. And I set a book bucket list last year, which I completed like three out of the nine. Oh well, 2017. Here we go. So for my reading goals, I first up is to read a classic a month. As long as I'm reading more classics than I usually do, I'm happy with that. So a one a month would be ideal for me. But like if I fall behind, then I could catch up. But yeah. Classic a month. Next is to participate in one readathon a month, and obviously, if I'm not interested in any readathons that month, then I won't. But it would be kind of cool to read 12 readathons in a year, so I mean, to participate in 12 readathons in a year, so. That's another one of my goals that I've set. I'm also trying to focus less on the number of books I read and more on like the quality of the books I read and how I'm enjoying the books that I read and all that sort of stuff. So definitely that is my main goal for this year and I'm gonna focus less on, you know, gotta complete all those books because I can read up my own pace because why the hell not like yeah we get really competitive on this platform just a little bit <laughs> and well I do not even with other booktubers like with myself <laughs> like gotta be last month but not the point I'm trying to focus less on that sort of stuff and just focus more on how I'm enjoying my books and just kind of reminding myself that I got into this I do this because it's a hobby and that's about it so yeah this is to read bigger books so I usually hold off on reading bigger books because, you know, when I read a huge book, I can usually read a bunch of little books in the amount of time that it takes me to read a big book. So, I'm like, <laughs> want to have that long wrap up, so of course I'm gonna read all the smaller books, but I'm gonna try to read some of my bigger books on my shelf this year that I have been avoiding, and even just, sometimes I'm like, mm, I want a short book. Like, no, hun, just pick up a long book, because why the hell not? You know, not that short books are bad. I'm just saying. Like, I should read larger books because I avoid them. I do have a bookish bucket list for this year. I have a total of eight books in the series that I do want to complete, so let's talk about those. So first up, I would like to finish off the Harry Potter series. It's my first time writing it, so I have the last three books to complete, so I would love to do that. <laughs> Next up here, I have It by Stephen King, which I'd really like to read this year and which I'm planning to read, so... I'm excited. I'm excited. Next I have The Stand by Stephen King, which I'm also planning, like I have a plan to read. So I'm super excited for these. You guys want me to read them so bad. I want to read them so bad. I'm so excited. Next I have Lolita, which is a classic. And this one is just so controversial that I gotta read it. And like I started it before the audiobook was kind of freaking me out because the dude kind of freaked me out. Um, but I do want to see what this story is all about because I don't know much about it. Like, I did start the audiobook, but, like, I just want to read it. So I have Middlesex and The Marriage Plot, both by Jeffrey Eugenides. Um, I want to, since The Virgin Suicides was one of my favorites of 2016, I really want to make it a priority in 2017 and to read some of his other works as well. So, yes. Here is to finish off the Vampire Academy series, which I have books four, five, and six. The last three to finish off, so that would be a goal for this year is to do that just because I like the books, they're fun, and they're also big books, so. And last but not least, I have A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens, which I would really like to get to this year. I read Great Expectations in 2016, so I would love to read A Tale of Two Cities in 2017, so yeah. And basically my Goodreads goal, I always set a Goodreads goal. I don't get intimidated by them because I've personally never fallen behind. Usually I'm like 20 books ahead, which I'm not expecting for this year, but I am still setting one and I'm gonna, the previous years what I've always done is I set it at 50. When I hit 50, I set it to 100 just to make sure. I don't know, I'm like that. So um, I'm gonna set it at 40 this year. If I hit 40, I'll boost it. But if not, 40, 40 it is. And we're gonna go for that. Yeah, usually I read a lot more than 40. Like, for, uh, 2015 was 160 something. Then this year is like 120, like 130 something. So, well, it's gonna be 130 something, probably. But, uh, cause it's not the end of the year yet. But my point, um, I think 40 is a reasonable goal for me. So I will do that and we'll see how it goes. 
So those are my 2017 reading goals. So let me know some of yours down below. Of course, you don't have to set any. It's just like, I don't know. I just wanted a bit of, maybe just a little bit of structure, a little bit of goals for the year in terms of my reading. Um, so yeah, let me know some of yours down below and how you enjoyed this video. And I will see you all very soon with a new video. Bye.